Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. This video, I'm going to talk about some uh, YouTube stuff. Now, if any of you are, I would say, you know, kind of upload your YouTube videos, not necessarily YouTuber, just kind of uploading YouTube videos, but you want your channel to grow, and maybe you've experienced, uh, maybe you've watched some tips videos, or some kind of like Creator Academy type stuff, you'll know that there is a theme that goes on, which is uploading daily videos. That is a theme ever since I remember like any big YouTubers, ever since really the 2000, like the big gaming thing. Remember when gaming got really big on YouTube like eight years ago, nine years ago? When that started happening, I pretty much, that is one of the things that has stuck around to growing a good U a, a big YouTube channel is uploading daily videos. There are channels that haven't uploaded daily videos and are still getting pretty big. And, you know, well, should you really upload daily videos or not? You know, that's a, that's a question that I, I mess with myself all the time with. And basically the first question you should ask yourself is, are you gonna try to sub sustain yourself using your YouTube channel? Is your YouTube channel going to be the main source of money? or the main source of getting sponsor money, whether it's with ads or sponsorships, selling your product, is it your main marketing tool? If it's gonna be your main revenue source, then the answer is yes. You pretty much need to upload daily videos because if it's your main source, that has to be where most of your time is. And most of your time should be spent uploading daily videos. But if you're not, if it's not gonna be your main money source, then it gets a little bit different in a sense. So, you know, me, I, I, I pretty much for most of most of the time I've owned, I've run and owned my YouTube channel. I've been wanting it to be my main income source. It's not the case anymore because I found better ways to make money. But um, now that it's not, money's out of the factor. I can say that I can. You can still grow a YouTube channel not uploading daily content. Okay, there's a couple ways you can do this. One of the easiest ways to do it is every time you upload a video, YouTube says you upload a video, right? But every time you create a playlist, it, YouTube also treats that as if you uploaded another video, right? So if you're gonna start a new series, or maybe you have, like me, I have, uh, I have a vlog series, I have, I, well, I have a vlog playlist, I have a thank you playlist, vlog of a small YouTuber, YouTube tips, right? Those four um, playlists, Maybe one day I decide, you know what, I'm gonna compile those together and make another playlist that's a little bit better than those, right? Then you can make that playlist. And let's be honest, not a lot of people go through your playlists anyways. Now, if you're a help channel, it's different and you're an expert on like uh, like running a YouTube channel, their playlists are important. But I mean, for me, gaming, even Let's Play playlists, I find most of the time YouTube knows that, oh, you've watched episode one of this, here's episode two. You watched episode two, here's episode three. YouTube does that pretty well. I would say 99% of the time it does it. And if it doesn't do it, what do you do? You don't go to the playlist, you search it up. So really, playlists are an excellent way to get that, you know, that video out. But what if you're like, a little bit more like me, where I don't really, I don't really make a bunch of new content, right? I mean. Let's be honest, I have Oblivion character tutorials, an Oblivion playthrough, and a couple commentary videos here and there, but they're all about the same, you know, game, same topics. What do you do then? And really, uploading daily, if you're not going to upload daily, try to upload really good content. Now, I'm not talking, like, expensive camera content. What I mean is acceptable quality content. Okay, acceptable quality content is, my, let's just start with the mic, okay? You need a good mic. You don't need a camera to do YouTube. You can throw a picture up there and do a podcast type thing, right? So first of all, your mic needs to sound really, it needs to sound good. Not a lot of background noise, you know, not a high-pitched squealing, right? Right now with my mic, I don't like the sound quality of my mic. I think it sounds cheaper than I want it to, but I know that it's a good quality mic because it's the mic. Okay, next up is make sure after your sound, all your volumes, anything involving sound is good. So your volume is balanced, right? Your sound is good, your mic quality is good. 
After that, then you get to the video format. And I'm here to tell you something. The minimum video quality is like 480p that you should have. 360 to 480p. Like, I, I'm, I'm here to tell you this. Okay, this device, this phone device, okay, to me, I see the difference between 360, 487, 20, 1080, but if I watch a 360p video on this device, I'm fine. All right, I'm not going to miss out any details. The only thing I'll miss out on is if I'm watching someone and there's like really tiny text on the screen, okay? But if you're on a computer, you can take the window, if it looks like crap, and shrink the window up, okay? Shrink the window, okay? And then, I mean, if you do that, you could arguably say that then they'll scroll through your comment, se comment section, but that's really user to user. But it's fine on the computer, too, because you can just shrink your window, it's fine. You know, if you know that your video quality, maybe there's stuff that's unreadable, just read it out loud, you know? It's pretty easy. So once you have the 360, 40p video and the mic, then make sure you have a good thumbnail. If you're uploading every day, but you can only make one or two custom thumbnails, cut back so that you can make a custom thumbnail for every video. I can tell you this, on pretty much anything, whether you're selling something, you're making YouTube content, the visuals will trump everything, all right? That's how, you know, like, I get comments sometimes, and these are very flattering comments, but it's, I know, I know why I get them, right? And someone, you know, you ever, I, people comment, oh, you should have a million subscribers, you should have a bigger channel, da 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 And I have channels I subscribe to that I think the same way. But the key factor is that my video making skills are a lot better than my thumbnail skills. It's really just my thumbnails, which is why my channel's not big, is because I've only been doing good thumbnails for a year. And I could tell you, it took me a year to get 100 subscribers, pretty much a year. It took me, and then I think it took me another year after that to get another 100 or something like that, 500, and now I'm at 1,000. And it, you know, the thumbnails really help just grow your channel and you can really use them to express stuff. I found this gaming channel. It's it's kind of big. It's got like 300,000, so it's actually really big. It's called Downward Thrust. And what he does with his thumbnails is he keeps them nice and simple and the title and the, and the text in the thumbnail work so good together that they tell, you know how you can use the title to tell a message? The thumbnail does it too, so it's two messages. And it, uh, even though, like, he just made a video about Square Enix, I have no interest in Square Enix, but his thumbnail and his title were so good, and I like the guy, that I just had to click the video and I had to watch it. And that's what you want to try to do is, you want to try to get it to where there's the combination of a good-looking thumbnail, good title, and someone likes you and they'll click to you. And so, the main thing I want you to take away is, if your video video quality suffers to the point where it's crap or your thumb you're not getting thumbnails done or anything like that, cut down. Okay? Thumbnails are the main thing. Now, there is also another reason why you shouldn't do daily videos sometimes, and that's burnout, okay? I have burned out before. It sucks. And burnout is kind of like there's two things that can happen when you burn out. Either you stop making YouTube videos, or you change it up completely and reinvigorate yourself. Okay? Those are the two things that'll happen. Now, if you don't want to make new types of videos, you're just going to have to take a break or cut down even more from daily. Okay? Maybe you only do one a week. That's fine. Me, I experienced burnout. That's why I'm doing three videos a week, so I don't get burned out. And I know that my channel. It's not going to suffer, all right? It's on. It's literally, if you look at the analytics, the analytics did not go from up to down. They went from up to up a little less. Like, it's almost stagnant. So your channel's not going to suffer, okay? Plain and simple. But when you start to experience burnout, look at yourself, figure out why you're experiencing burnout, and then just change it up. All right, that's why I started doing live streaming on YouTube. Now I do it on DLive because I need um, the money that it provides to do some other things to make more money. But as soon as I don't need that DLive money, I'll probably put some live streams on YouTube. And it's just because that shook, shook it up for me. 
All right. When I started live streaming, I started making live streaming for, I used to make live stream highlights as well as post the live streams, man. I almost could do like 14 videos a week. I could almost pull that off every week because it was really cool. You know, I did upload the live streams, upload the live stream highlights, upload this, upload that, pop in an extra stream. It happens. D Live, when I figured out I could make money off of it, there was a, I, there was a weekend. It was a Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday. I did seven live streams. I think on I think I live streamed. I want to say something around twenty hours like f between Friday to Sunday that day. I did a live stream at night, felt, took a nap, woke up at like some time in the morning, did another live stream, fell asleep, woke up, live stream, ate, shower, live stream. Like it just happens because I mean, I was excited for it. So if you're experiencing burnout, you got to change it up. Okay. But most importantly, it's the thumbnails, man. You know, I see so many channels where, um, you know, because every once in a while I can go through my subscribers or there's like random self-advertising comments or there's channels that I know exist where they go daily, 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 daily. And I know why they're not, they're not working well is because they are not putting time into thumbnails. And it's going to take, it's a lot of hard work to make thumbnails, all right? Even my thumbnails, like it takes me 20 minutes and you guys, and I know that if you look at them, you can tell that there is a formula that I go through. I created a, myself a mental formula, and it still takes me 20 minutes to make a thumbnail. And it, you know, it just sucks that way. It used to take me an hour, but now it takes me 20 minutes. So then I could bump up my videos back up. But main point, if your video quality suffers to the point where it looks like crap or it sounds like crap, cut it down, bump it up when you can when you can. So that's all I have to say about this video. This one I just turned the camera on and talked. That's what came out. Sometimes you gotta make that kind of video. I mean this video, I would say from the videos I made for the past month, <laughs> this one is the one I feel best about. It's just because I experienced a burnout. I changed it up. Right? This wasn't even a structured YouTube tips. This was me talking to the camera. So if you guys enjoyed you can tell me in the comments below. You know what do you what do you think about this? I always like talking YouTube tips with everyone. Just, just because it's always good to know a bunch of perspectives of stuff. So I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.